What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, we got some updates for the shootings that happened on Saturday. Now, Garden City Police Department are asking for the public's help in locating Tanisha Williams for the murder of James Ankrum that happened this past Saturday. Now, police say that she is 25 years old, 5 feet 2 inches in height, and weighs about 200 pounds. Well, that's kind of insulting to put her weight in the mix but she is considered armed and dangerous and of course i get online and see what people are talking about and there's a whole lot of conspiracies uh one of them was pretty interesting because for one this lady looks like she does hair or some type of or cosmetics i can't tell but what people were saying online was that she's not a murderer she wouldn't do nothing like this uh, it could have been self-defense well let me just say this if it is self-defense you shouldn't be on the run you should get you a lawyer lawyer up and then turn yourself in because if it is self-defense you're going to make it really bad on yourself trying to get a bond and you know I'm not trying to defend this person I don't know the whole situation and I don't think too many people know the whole situation that what really happened but if this is really self-defense, like how her friends online are trying to defend her, then being on the run isn't the best move. The best move for you is to get a lawyer, lawyer up, and turn yourself in because being on the run is just going to make it worse for you because even when you do get caught and you try to get a bond, they're going to look at you as a flight risk because you already jumped already. And if it was self-defense, you don't have to run. You just tell the folks what happened but you know that's just my input on that now the update to the shooting that happened saturday off the 1200 block of 71st street i do have a victim identification for that person that died now when i recorded that video the other day the person didn't die but the person ended up dying um a few days later um it was updated to a homicide the victim died at the hospital from his injuries. Memorial Hospital, of course, that's the hospital where all the gunshot victims go to. And he has been identified as 17-year-old Devion Bates Carrington of Pula, Georgia. Now, detectives believe that this wasn't a random shooting and he was the intended target. And it makes me think, what kind of enemies does a 17-year-old have in the, in the year 2022? I mean, it's outrageous. It's sickening. It's heartbreaking. And most importantly, it's senseless. I mean, when I was growing up, at the age of 17, we would say, man, the teachers don't like me. Now, in 2022, I mean, it's like the whole world don't like these teens. I don't know what's really going on with this particular homicide. It's so early in the investigation. I'm going to just let the police do their job. But for a kid that come out of Pooler and goes into the city of Savannah and gets killed like that, it makes me think that he had real enemies.